So I'm going to run over the second um, exam unit, which I have called husbandry. It's called husbandry because it's about looking after your plants to making them grow the best you possibly can. Why do you want to do that? You want to do it so that you can make lots of money. So, in order to understand how to make the most money out of plants, you need to understand how they work. That's the plant processes, and there's three that you need to understand, photosynthesis, respiration, and transpiration. You need to also understand how the plant is put together, and this is called the plant structure, on the inside and on the outside. And you need to understand the management practices that are done to change growth conditions for the plants so that the grower can get the best possible product um, for the most possible money. So we'll start with the standard for husbandry. I'll click on that. I'll just whip over here because I've got it right here. Um, it's called, its proper name is Demonstrate Knowledge of Horticultural Plant Management Practices and the Related Plant Physiology. In other words, you have to uh, have understanding of how plant management practices and related plant physiology or growing conditions occur. Now, that plant physiology, that looks like it's a big word, but that's really about how is the plant put together. It's its structure and how it works. So we will just go back because I can... out of that unfortunately right back we are here so um, it's coming down a bit further back to the husbandry unit here we go all right so there are four videos to watch they are about photosynthesis. Please watch each one and write a summary paragraph about each one. What are the common features of all the videos? What did you all see in all of those videos? Try and identify that as a class. There is a PowerPoint about the plant processes there. There's a summary of this whole unit's knowledge that you need to understand. Um, and there is a little YouTube task to do. Once you've finished that YouTube task, you have to make a YouTube, then you can put that in the drop box. The plant structure, how it's put together, is all in a book. I'm going to click on that link because it's important that you know how the book works. So here is the book. It starts with this chapter on plant physiology. As I said before, that's just how a plant is put together. But you'll see over here on the right-hand side, you have got a whole lot of different parrot paragraph not paragraphs chapters about different things so plant physiology there's a picture of part, plant plant parts the structure of a leaf the structure of roots the structure of stems photosynthesis respiration and transpiration so that's all in that one book so if I go back to the course back with my back arrow to not get back to the same place. So just pull that down again. Slow internet where I am here, sorry. Oh dear. Right, uh, and there's also a booklet on management practices. I'm not going to click onto that, it takes too long to go back. But that's another whole book of information that you need to know. There is a sample exam paper. If you do get stuck, write your question here and hopefully the teacher will be able to get in there and answer it for you. You may also write questions for your classmates in here so that if you do come across a question that you don't know the answer to, Put it in there and see if someone can work it out and they can give you the, the information. 
um, the pests and diseases of plants. That's another little um, project for you to do and a drop box for you to put it in. There might be a few more bits and pieces in this particular unit that I haven't yet put up. But you will see, just follow through and you will get to the end of the unit. In addition to the Moodle, there's also the booklet, um, the workbook, the greeny yellow one, and the green book to use in class. So good luck with that and we'll see you when we're...